what I'd like to do is demonstrate how you can do, and I've done this before, many times before, but I, I think it's really a good one. You can do LRGB composition. This is something that's very popular. So you have a, um, a grayscale image of some galaxies in this case, right? And it's already stretched, so I've already stretched it in a way that is appropriate. And then we have a color image, which is also already stretched, but it may not be optimally stretched, to be perfectly honest. And to, to tell you the truth, what I did to stretch this image was I did a masked stretch. That is a process that is in PixInsight. And so we get a picture that's kind of faded, but one of the interesting things about LRGB is that the brightnesses of the color information, they don't need to be perfect or perfectly matched. In fact, you don't necessarily want that to be the case in order for it to play well and color well the luminance image. What I'm saying is you actually want the freedom to adjust in real time the color image and see how it blends with the luminance image. The problem, if I call this a problem, but uh, the the less flexible way of making an LRGB image is you come over here to uh, LRGB combination and you'll notice what this does not have. It doesn't have a real-time preview. You have to, in advance, correctly stretch those images so that when you blend them together, they look good. And if they don't, you close the LRGB combination, you go fiddle with the images again, you go put it in here again and you iterate, right? Well, that iteration is much faster and easier if you use image blend. So I'm gonna to come to um, here, image blend. I will make sure that I'm always doing that. And uh, so I need to load, I, it doesn't, it shouldn't matter which I do, but I'm gonna load the, the luminance image, I guess, as the base image. So that is, um, what is this, NGC 51, whatever, boom. And then we have the color version here. Okay, so I'm blending these together with replace, which means that all I should be seeing here, if I zoom into this galaxy, I'll zoom in even more. It's a tiny galaxy. Uh, all I'm seeing here is the color image. If I turn it off, you can see the, uh, the grayscale image, and this is the color image, right? And what I want to do is put them together like LRGB, so I need to blend with color. So I'm gonna come down here and blend with color. And that's actually part of the game. I mean, that's it. I'm now, I've now done an L, uh, LRGB combination. This is synonymous with doing LRGB combination uh, using PixInsight a moment ago. But now what you can do is something different because if you adjust the uh, thresholding, this is, a, this is the term that I use for changing the contrast of an image by manipulating generally the white point or the black point, maybe even the midtone. But by thresholding the image, you can change the way in which the image is colored by this blending operation that we're doing here. So for example, if you increase the black point a little bit, you'll see that the color comes in more. If you perhaps brighten the, the uh, um, with the midtones value, brighten that information up, then you'll get a different colored answer. And you can also take the, this may or may not help, but you can take the, the highlights in. And you can, ah, not this, but you can, let's see, if I do, let me not adjust these. Let me just do it with the black point. So if I just go, here's no black point adjustment. And here, it's gonna be subtle, but here is the black point adjustment. I don't know if this comes across on the screen, but this has a greater color saturation just by me adjusting the black point of the color image. And that is super, super powerful. So let me zoom out and I'll just show you the other galaxy really quickly. So we can come down here, show the other galaxy, zoom in. It's not very bright, right? So another thing you can do is if you wanted to, you can, manip you can manip uh, manipulate, goodness grief, both images, right? So if I wanted to make this a little brighter, I can do that and I can do this so I can manipulate the, um, the luminance image as well as of course, continuing to do whatever I think is best for the color image to make those colors start to stand out better. So that's the manipulation of these uh, histograms 
that makes LRGB combination actually work in real time in a way that just simply isn't possible with LRGB combination. So I wanted to show that to you.